is the United States systemically or institutionally racist? Short answer is no. So here's the long answer. Let's start with, well, incarceration as an excuse. There's nothing racist about our incarceration. As I've shown in a previous video, blacks disproportionately commit more violent and property crime and Hispanics disproportionately commit more violent crime. Black and Hispanic populations are also concentrated in large cities and densely populated counties. That's the reason they're more likely to be arrested for nonviolent or victimless crimes like drug offenses. The next thing people like to say that is institutionally racist is our voting system. For example, the filibuster. Well, there's nothing racist about that. It's just a tool. Now it has been used by racists, but that doesn't make it racist itself. And it can also be used to fight against racist laws or other unjust laws. There's also voter ID laws, which many people have tried to say that those are racist, which makes no sense because in actuality, it's kind of racist to say that a minority person can't get a ID when they get an ID for everything else. And of course, many will say the electoral college is a problem. The Electoral College has nothing to do with slavery. The Electoral College was a compromise. Some founding fathers wanted Congress to pick the president, and others wanted to have a popular vote. But both of these were unpopular and they could not agree on either of them. Both system proposals had major problems. The system in which Congress would pick the president had the problem of potential corruption, in which the Congress and also the president would work together and never disagree with one another. So that was a huge problem there. Now for the popular vote or having people picking the president directly, that would have the problem of tyranny of the majority, in which the majority or the bare majority would rule over that of the minority. There was also the problem in which certain states did not like the fact of a popular vote because then they felt the more populous states would have more representation within the federal government. So they couldn't go with that. That's why they came up with the idea of the Electoral College, a indirect vote. Now whether the Electoral College is a good thing or a bad thing is another question entirely. But is it racist at all? No, not even close. Now let's move on to the justice system. Like the police, many people think the justice system has racism or has racial bias, something to that effect. There were some studies that did find that there was racial bias or that racial bias had an effect on the sentencing of black men. However, there were also studies that found there was none or very little racial bias effect, that it had little effect on the sentencing of black men. There's also some studies that have looked at whether black and white judges convict differently with black men. According to these studies, there is possibly no difference or that black judges actually convict black men more harshly, not only black men, but also white men more harshly than that of white judges. As I just said earlier, that there is a mixture of data in which some articles say that there is little to no evidence of racial bias affecting the conviction rate of black men. And then there are some studies that do find that there is a significant amount within the conviction rate of black men. But when I look at that and then I see that there's articles talking about the differences with black and white judges being little or nothing, or the fact that black judges are more harsh on black men and white men than white judges, this kind of gives me the idea that maybe racial bias has little or no effect. This is my personal opinion, so take it however you want. 
I definitely hold this opinion when I have also looked at police data in which there was no difference between black, white, and Hispanic cops in their treatment of black, Hispanic, and white men, or that there was little data to say that there was any difference in the treatment. Perhaps it's a little bit harder to measure because this is the court system kind of measuring not quite so concrete numbers. Perhaps that's a little more to do, I'm not exactly sure. But I am of the opinion that judges probably aren't really any different in their racial biases than that of cops. The next thing that the left often likes to say is racist is, well, our hiring system. They will say that black people and Hispanic people are not hired as much as whites are. For example, they'll bring up people with Hispanic or black names are not hired as much as people with more white sounding names. It's technically true that people with Hispanic or black names are less likely to be hired. However, it's not because of their race. Studies have shown that that is false. And the reason why black people and Hispanic people make less money than white men is because, well, for one, obviously more of them are in jail. And of course, there are some other factors that go into this. But racism was not a major factor at all. Then there's also education. Again, racism does not play effect in here, at least not in the way that they think. In colleges, black people actually have an easier time getting in college than whites or Asians. In fact, Asians have the hardest time getting in college quite often. Asians and whites tend to have better grades than that of blacks or Hispanics, not because of their race, mind you. And also the regular schools like high schools, junior high, all of these schools are also not failing because of racism or anything like that. They're failing because of bureaucracy. They're failing because of teachers union. They're not failing because of the lack of money. That has nothing to do with it because there are schools with less money that have their kids getting better grades. Racism doesn't play an effect in schooling. The only racism that there is an effect is with colleges against whites and Asians. And last, but certainly not least, redlining. Redlining is one of those things that the left often tries to say is what makes black and Hispanic people still poor. They don't usually say that redlining is still around so much as they'll say that the past redlining still has its effects. However, there's no evidence to support this. Multiple studies have been done and they have found zero effect from redlining on today's black people. For one, you can just look at Asians. They were also redlined. They were pushed out of white neighborhoods and forced to go into their own neighborhoods, building up their own communities. They're doing perfectly fine. Now, the kind of redlining that they say exists today is, for example, housing loans or mortgage loans. Well, Asians often have either better capability of getting loans or just as good as whites. A few years ago, Asians actually did have better capability of getting loans than that of whites. Would that mean that Asians were a few years ago the top race in America? No, it's just because they had better credit. They were able to pay for this. Housing loans, mortgage loans, none of these things have to do with race and redlining has no effect on black or Hispanic people today. The only areas where there could be said to be systemic racism is in colleges, but against Asians and whites and the other portions of possible, arguable systemic racism is in the media and is in politics. But again, not against blacks or Hispanics, but against whites. Whites have been in recent years made as the villains of everything, with politicians and the news media and Hollywood all saying that white people are evil and have this privilege and that are somehow better than black people and that we need to push the white man down. The one kind of systemic racism I will say that is against black and Hispanic people is towards though black and Hispanics that have more conservative or more right-wing views. 
I've seen many examples, and there are many examples, in which black or Hispanic men have been bullied from other black or Hispanics or even just white liberals for not voting the way they want them to, for thinking just a bit differently. In conclusion, there is no systemic racism within the police, there's probably no systemic racism within the courts, there's no systemic racism within our laws, and there's no systemic racism within our electoral system, nor is there systemic racism within housing, within mortgage loans, and there's no lingering effects from redlining today. The only kind of systemic racism that can be found is towards whites and Asians predominantly, especially towards whites. The only systemic racism I can find towards blacks or Hispanics is towards blacks and Hispanics who have conservative or right-wing views. This is the kind of systemic racism that is still around in America. And this is the kind that is growing in America. There is no systemic racism in a general sense towards black or Hispanic people. There is no laws or bureaucracy that is keeping black and Hispanic people down. It's all either lies, illusions, or hysteria. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below, and tell me what you thought. And if you really like my content, consider donating to my Patreon. Or if you just want to make a one-time donation, you can donate to my Ko-fi. Ko-fi is a one-time donation system that uses PayPal, but in an anonymous way in which you don't have to give out your name. So if you really like my content, consider donating to my Patreon or my Ko-fi. Do that, and I'll see y'all later.